Shalom, everyone. This is Brother Jimmy, a.k.a. Ambassadors of Yah. So I have here before you one of our calendar beads. Just wanted to show you how to use it so that when you get these, you know how to keep your days, number your days, as we're told in Scripture. No sense of you having something as a memorabilia and don't even know how to use it, right? So make sure you have it oriented in the way that I have it here, as you see before you, where you see that these two strands here, these different colors of what I have is right next to each other. So just to give you an understanding, you might have a different color and most likely you do because it's the only one that we made like this. So on this particular um, calendar bead, the gray beads would be high days. Okay, the turquoise beads would be my um, Shabbat day. So there's 52 of those in a year. So there's 52 of these uh, turquoise beads, okay? And then the gold beads represents regular days. All right, so with that being said, you'll notice that if you see this uh, mark of beads on your calendar beads, you know if it's to the left, you have it oriented like I do. If you have this flipped where it's like this and it's on the right side, then you don't have it as I do. The reason why you have to have it this way is because these, these strands represents months. So each month is represented by a strand. You would have 12 of these, okay? They're separated by these um, beads up here at the top. Yours would be a different color, but that lets you know of the four seasons, okay? So you see that we have a bead here, a bead here, a bead here. Those three beads allows you to know your three, uh, your four um, seasons. Now, with that being said, as long as you have it oriented this way, and I have another one here. This is the one that we send out to most of you all. This is our normal um, bead. Notice how on this one, the white ones are the uh, high days as I had the gray ones here on this one. The, the, the gray ones here are regular days where I have the gold on this one. And the Shabbats are yellow beads on this one where it's turquoise on this one. Okay, so now you can see all the high days here. This represents our Feast of Matzah, also known as the Passover week. Okay, so here it's gray and on this one it's white. So again, as long as you have it oriented this way, you'll be able to follow. Now with that being said, let me go ahead and move this one out the way. And we're gonna start off with these here. So you have these tie downs. We have these tie downs here to give to you all so you know um, where you're at of the, of the month, okay? And of the year for that matter. So you're gonna start here from the left. This one here would be what we would consider or call spring equinox, which uh, we have a fall equinox coming up here in the next couple of days as of the timing of this video. So let's just deal with this one. So we're gonna separate that. We're gonna just deal with this strand here for this very second. So we have a high day, which is our first day, the spring day or spring equinox, first day of the year of the first month. And then you're gonna have 30 days here. So that's 30 beads, okay? This will be your first Shabbat, four days after the spring equinox. Always will be the fourth day. You'll be able to use this calendar bead perpetually. You'll, you'll, you can always use it every year, it never changes, okay? So you have your Shabbat, regular days, and then you have um, a high day, okay? This high day here, which is the 10th day of the first month is when Yashra was commanded to set aside a male lamb without any spot or blemish. So that's what that day is there. Then you have the Shabbat the next day, two days later, then you have the Passover. This is the 14th day of the first month. This is Passover, okay? It is not a Sabbath or a high Sabbath, a day that you're supposed to rest. This day you do because this is the first day of unleavened bread and the last day of unleavened bread. These two days, are going to be high Shabbats, okay? Then you have a Shabbat right in the middle of the week, all right? So this follows the calendar that we give you guys, the PDF calendar of the Enoch Zadok calendar, okay? And so this explains all of this here. This will be your first fruits, all right? And so that'll be the first month. Here's the second month. And once again, you have your uh, day that you put aside a lamb because this is for those who weren't able to make the first Passover as we're told in uh, Leviticus okay so here is for those who weren't able to make the first Passover a week of unleavened bread they get to do it on the second month it, identical dates identical everything this is the 10th day when you set aside the lamb this will be your Passover this will be your first day of unleavened bread this would be your uh, your Shabbat. And then the last one is another high day where you're supposed to have um, a festival 
unto Yahuwah. Okay, so that would be another uh, place to part ceremony where those of us who are able to, we come together and I pray to Yahuwah as, as next year comes around that we'll be able to do that together on TikTok if we're able to do so. And so that would be the second month. Okay, this is the third month. And right here, you'll see this is what we know as Shavuot, also known as the Feast of Weeks or Pentecost. Okay, and it's always going to be the first day of the week, one after the Shabbat. So you can never get that mistaken. Okay, so now let's go to the fourth one. The fourth one, we're going into a new season, remember, every three months. And then you go into a season. So this would be the summer solstice right here. Three days later, you have your Shabbat, just like the first, the first month. Same thing. Okay. They both look the same here, right? And then you ha you count your six days, and then you have your Shabbat. Six days and Shabbat. Six days and Shabbat. And then this side here, you're going to have five days, six days, and then Shabbat, right? So now we're in the second month. We're in the third month. Okay, this is this is deep into the summer. Nothing happens around the summer on Yah's calendar as far as feast days. Now we come into the seventh Um strand or the seventh month okay the seventh period and here we have your uh first day of what we know as the or not first day but it is yeah i guess it'd be the first day of fall and that would also be our fall equinox okay when you have a straight line shadow as you do on the first uh day of the year on the spring equinox a straight line shadow so here you have your shabbat your regular days and then you have your 10th day, this is what we know as the Day of Atonement, Yaham Kippurim. Okay, and then you have your Shabbat. And then you go here, this is going to be what we know as the Feast of Sukkot, also known as the Feast of Tabernacles. First day and last day, okay? This is an eight day celebration, unlike the Passovers. The Passovers is a seven day celebration. If you include the Passover itself, it would also be eight days, okay? So this one is eight days you have a shabbat in the middle of it your first and your last day are going to be high days where you come together and assemble okay and then after that our our ceremonial festivals are over for the year okay so then you have the rest of your months here so this would be the eighth month the ninth month the tenth month the tenth month again now we're going into the the winter solstice okay Three days later, you have your Shabbat. So this is how you'll always be able to know where your Shabbats are. If you, for some reason, don't know what's going on, if you know how to keep these four times of the year and how to locate them using the sun, you can never go wrong as to where you are on Yah's calendar. Let me say that once again. If you know these four days of the year, which is your equinoxes and your solstices, so you have two equinoxes right here, the spring and the fall, and then you have two solstices you have the summer and the winter if you know those four signs and how to mark them to know how to find them using the sun you will always be right back on Yah's calendar because you're always going to know that three days later is going to be your shabbat three days later shabbat three days later shabbat three days later shabbat so on the 10th month we go through the 10th month and we count our shabbats using the beads and what you're going to do is you're going to take this Okay, and you would you would just use it every day when you're and today. This is why I have it here. Okay, but just to show you the way we give this to you, you just have a little tie down. You know where you can open it up like a fish eye kind of deal, and you just tighten it on to the bead above the date. Okay, that would be your date. So let's say if it was <clears throat> uh, the first day after the uh, or excuse me that it is the. Where is it here? Oh, here we go. Yeah, so fall equinox. Let's say this is fall equinox, which is getting ready to come up. You just make a little space there. Put this on right up above it. So you know, because of gravity, you don't want it to fall on it. And then now you don't know what day you have. Just put that there like that. Just, you know, gently tie it. And now you know underneath that is the date. Okay, not above it, but underneath it. All right, so that would be the first day of the seventh month, which what we call Yom Teruah or the Feast of Noises, okay? The Shofar Feast, the Feast of Trumpets. So that's pretty much it. Now, let me show you the last part here so you understand what these colors are here. So remember I said there's 52 Shabbats in a year, and that is true for every calendar that we make. So at the end of this, you have your Shabbat here, and then you have three more days. This is gonna take you into the last uh, three days of 
the calendar month, okay? Just so you understand, let me show you this on our calendar that we send out to everybody that's a PDF, okay? So on that calendar, as soon as I get this thing off of here, waiting for this thing to show up. All right, so now here, this is the last month of the year, Kadash 12, okay? Renewed 12 or a new period, new month. Now you'll notice that the Shabbat is over here, okay? This whole line is the Shabbat. But then we have three more days, which coincides with these beats. Three more days, that's the Shabbat, three more days, right? Then you have the 365th day for a normal year. This will happen every year. You're gonna count that bead right there. Okay, this is why we have it separated here. Just to let you know that this is to be separated. You're gonna have these two. These two represent the 365 day of the solar cycle, not the solar calendar. We follow a 364 day calendar only as we're told in the book of Jubilees and in the book of Enoch. So the 365th day, 365, that one would be this one here, okay? Now, every four years, we have a leap year, so that would be that one there, because the leap year, you're going to find that the spring equinox isn't going to come right away after one day, which is 365. It's going to be two days gap in between, and then you would start it all over again here on the spring equinox, counting your days. So the spring equinox is the first day of the year. These here, again, is to let you know how many days you have until the sighting of the spring equinox. You're either going to have one day or two days. It's going to be one day every year up until the third year. And the fourth year is going to be 366 days. Because as you guys know, if you remember in your um, social study or not social studies, but in high school, when we studied um, the solar system, even though it's fake, uh, but the cycle of the sun is real. Now, the cycle of the sun goes around in revolution 365 days and a quarter. That's why every four years, those quarters add up into one. And so that would make 366, hence what the leap year is all about, okay? And so that pretty much does it for the calendar. Everything else on the calendar, like the handles, this is all decorative, nothing else on it, all right? So if you have any questions and you don't know how to use it, please let me know. I thank you for your time. If any of this was confusing, just DM me in the box and I'll try to clarify it for you. Thank you again for watching. This is Brother Jimmy, Ambassadors of Yah, signing off.